Well, friends, today is Tuesday, uh, February 20th, 2024. And um, we are going to look at the second thing that Jesus does on Monday of Holy Week. The first is the cursing of the fig tree, which is really a prelude, a private prelude to the judgment that is now going to become public about the, the, the situation of the, the people of Israel. And here it is, Mark 11, 15 and 16. When the disciples came to Jerusalem, Jesus entered the temple and he began to drive out those who were selling and those who were buying in the temple. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold doves. He would not allow anyone to carry anything through the temple. This is the word of the Lord. Well, there was a prophecy at the end of Zechariah, actually the last verse in Zechariah, uh, four, chapter 14, 21, that says, uh, no longer shall there be merchants in the house of the Lord. So this is kind of a fulfillment of that, of that moment. Um, it is uh, something that would have created a, 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 a cre- havoc in, inside the temple. So the temple was set up, Holy of Holies in the mid- middle, there was a court of the Israelites and um, there was the court of the Gentiles and the court of the Gentiles was as far as Gentiles could go in to participate in worship. And it was in that area that there were set up these different booths and it would feel a lot like a market because there were animals that were being uh, sold for sacrifice. Um, doves were the most affordable. The poorest pilgrims would be buying those and there would be a surcharge on that. Some would try to bring their own, but oftentimes those were inspected and found to be imperfect and so they'd have to buy ones that were sold in the temple. And any money they had to pay their tithes they uh, or any money they wanted to use to buy the doves had to first be exchanged because they had to have a temple currency that was... Uh, more legitimate for these purchases. It didn't have any pagan emblems and so on. And so um, there was a business happening there. And um, by coming in, and you can imagine this, you're overturning the tables, the money scattering everywhere. That's creating confusion and upset and anger and noise. You're upsetting the tables that have the ant- the, the doves on them and they're flying around. They're, they're flying the coop, so to speak. And, and they're making noise and uh, people are protesting this. Um, it is a d- dramatic disruption. It is stopping the actual worship uh, procedures and rituals and sacrifices that are going on. Everything is coming to a halt. Why do you think he was upset? What upset Jesus about this scene? Let's take a moment and pray. Lord, your house has to be a place of integrity, spiritually focused, and not driven by commercial concerns. Help us to be transparent as a spiritual community and accountable for the wonderful gifts that we are given to use to build your kingdom. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.